Hey guys, I am Lana. This is from Corporate to Crystals. We are back. Oy vey, what a energy, you know? Uh, we're gonna talk about it. I hope this is like, honestly, a little bit shorter of a video, just because, I don't know, I'm just like chilling at home and have barely any makeup on and I just wanna like keep chilling. Um, but I wanted to like, I was inspired. I had some situations pop up in my reality that are like, I need to get this video out. The energy is here, it's happening. So I wanted to talk about it. So first, we have a full moon in Aries happening on the 29th, and it's happening at Aries 6 degrees. So we're going to read in the Sabian Symbols book, Aries 6 degrees. And just kickstart it, you know. Uh, okay, a square brightly lighted on one side. Keyword set. Theme, half of the story. This symbol speaks to the value of experience and to the illusion of a materialistic reality. The image of a square brightly lighted on one side alludes to the dawning of awareness or the early stages of insight, and it points to the limitations and dangers of looking at only one side of a situation. Today, the accent is on a revelation. Something hidden may come to light or be exposed, or you may discover that you have been wrong about something. The emphasis is on the material and physical. Opportunity. Your greatest advantage lies in looking at both sides of an issue, listening to the whole story, then weighing the evidence carefully. If forced to choose between the aesthetic and the practical today, go with the practical or what is sensible, pragmatic, or utilitarian. Risk. Guard against illusion or being fooled by appearances. Jumping to conclusions or making decisions before you have all the facts can lead to regret. Uh, a thing may not be what it seems to be. Okay, so Aries, Libra, Access. Full moon in Aries means the moon is lit over in Aries. Across the way is the sun. Sun is in Libra. Not too far away from the sun in Libra, we have Mars in Libra conjunct the south node, okay? So Mars, the planet of action, drive, forward progression, like masculine energy it wants to do, it's in Libra. It doesn't like being in Libra. It feels kind of like, I don't know, <laughs> like Libra energy in general, the scales. Libra energy, I'm a Libra rising, so I get it. Libras are kind of known for being indecisive. And I can speak to that. There's been times in my life when like doormat energy, people pleasing energy, Libra, uh, unevolved Libra energy can absolutely struggle because we look at the other perspective so much and think about it in order to keep the balance and not throw off the harmony of situations because we so badly want peace that we become indecisive. If we don't have all the details or if we don't have um, all the data, the information, Libra is an air sign, thoughts, communication, data, whatever, um, like if it's if we don't have all that then we would prefer to just hang back and wait till we have it and sometimes that can get us into situations where we actually put other people's needs and wants and whatever above our own doormat people pleaser right been there so unfortunately we need both we need libra and aries aries is the complete opposite. Aries can be very one-track minded, very selfish in an unevolved state. They have a, um, it's the first zodiac sign, so it's the baby, it's the first one. So sometimes they take action without even thinking about it because it's like a very vulnerable, youthful energy. They're just courageous and authentically them and don't think about it, so they just are what they are. The problem is they live in a world not about them. <laughs> like their actions have consequences and their behavior, think of children, right? They have to be reprimanded or they have to have things mirrored to them in order to teach them how they are not the center of the universe. Like they are an equation, they are a piece of the greater collective. And so there's, um, as you evolve and grow, you learn how to work or operate from a less a less selfish perspective um because that is their natural tendency is their way or the highway like their perception their consciousness that's just how it always is 
No, that's based on your own experiences that creates your reality. Other people's experiences create their, their own, right? And I think that that's why this axis is super important. It requires both. Like as a Libra rising, I had to grow into being more decisive. I had to evolve into not people pleasing and not being such a doormat to where I was putting other people's needs and whatever above my own, like myself, Aries. So I had to literally get it back in balance, which was a journey, you know? And so I think that that is why both signs need each other. Like Aries requires the reflection from others to grow into a better version of them. It's a courageous, authentic leadership energy, but without the reflection of others, you're, you're not a leader just by being you. You're a leader by demonstrating those qualities for the greater good, right? Leadership is not about like you steamrolling situations to like, you know, force your way into stuff. Leadership is more about like almost the the healthy balance. Like Libra has that issue of like sacrificing pieces of themselves to keep the balance, right? So they need some of that Aries. But at the same time, Aries needs some of that Libra to have it reflected that like, it's more than just them out there, you know, and other people matter. And um, even if it's, you know, they're an evolved Aries, they still have that tendency. They're super, super independent, which is such a valuable energy. But at the same time, in order for you to have healthy relationships or in order for you to get where you're wanting to go, because they're all about initiating and going, fire sign, right? We want you to initiate, we want you to go, we want you to be independent, but you are not on this planet by yourself. So you're just learning how to balance it out with being you and being your authentic self while also creating that balance so others can be a part of everything that you're creating as well, which is super exciting, right? And then Libra needs to find the courage and the confidence and like be decisive um, and all that. Libra can be known to like, uh be like avoidant energy because they're indecisive until they have all the data they're just gonna like kind of not or whatever um they're just gonna think about it more you know and that's fine too so in this energy slow down we still have um before i move to that mars conjunct the south node karmic past situations could be a part of this energy um, you could be reflecting on the past, the situations could be coming back from the past, there could be conversations about the past happening, I know I'm having kind of like a little bit of all of that, um, and yeah, I also think that there's like kind of power struggles, or like situations where it's like, um, Aries is the ram, it's like, like, you, someone has to find the harmony. Someone has to like be the balance and find the peace. And unfortunately, Aries energy, that's not their natural energy. They're more, it's war. And that can create conflict where Libra, they don't want conflict. They want peace. So between those two, there's a happy medium there. And I think that's really important. So this energy, if there's power struggles or power dynamics or whatever, it's a happy medium in between both sides of the story, right? And in the middle, that's like the sweet spot, <laughs> whatever. Um, I'll give you an example. My, I was having a conversation with an Aries in my life who I love, but um, you know, my journey has been very intense, not just for me. <laughs> but for every single person in my world. And um, as that was happening, there were a lot of individuals who I knew as a Libra rising, I'm able to put myself in other people's shoes very well. And I was like, they're scared. They're scared, they're in fear, they're all pushing me away because of how I am making them feel how my life, my situation, the way I'm behaving, the changes I'm making, whatever it is, I am 
reflecting something to them that is bringing fear up in them. Their emotions are not my responsibility. Okay, so again, as a Libra, I knew this in most people, and so I left them alone to handle it on their own because their own feelings were not going to benefit me. I needed love and I needed support. And if they were unable to give that to me, then I didn't want them near me. And that is self-love. And it wasn't because I didn't love the people or care about the people. It's just the reality of the situation. And so I had to make decisions for myself to balance myself out and harmonize my own life, which meant I needed to be without a lot of people because their stuff that they were feeling, it was just going to negatively impact me. And I can't change my life. Like I can, but like, you know, not, not really, you know, like I have to be me and I'm given what God gives me and I got to do the best I know to do with what God has given me. And I sometimes if everybody in your reality is not adding to the harmony and the balance and the peace that I'm seeking, then that means that they're being removed from it until we can find a balance, until we can harmonize, and until you do add peace to my life. And if you don't, that's okay too. I love you from afar. So this Aries and I that were having a conversation, I shared my, I had the courage to vulnerably share, Aries, how I had felt throughout my journey over the last few years with their, with our relationship. And I think that what I shared with them really shocked them because the Aries perspective was only about themselves. So it went a little something like this. It was like, hey, when I came to you and expressed what was going on in my life because I needed support, you pushed me away because you had fear come up. And the Aries literally said, well, I was scared. You were scaring me. And I'm like, okay, how do you think I felt? Like, it's my life. <laughs> like, I have to live it. So while all these other people who are feeling scared or fear pushing me away, I still had to feel all of my fear and be scared myself and still be me and still push through it and also do that alone, basically. I had a few, but shout out to you guys. But you get my point. Like, the Aries, when I shared this with them, they were shocked. Because I said, I was like, how do you think I felt? And the individual was like, wow, I'm so sorry. And I was like, yeah. So as a Libra, I carried that for three years because I understood what was happening. It didn't make it easier, but I understood it. And then here we are years later and I'm expressing that to this Aries that I love and the individual is shocked at the fact that my own life and all the changes I was making would have also been scary to me and fearful to me and I expressed to the individual that they did not show me love they did not show me support they pushed me away and now we have relationship issues because of that behavior and I love them enough to address it and I have the courage to speak my truth so we can work through it. But the damage has already been done. And that damage that was done, they now are getting that reflection from a Libra, right? That's very much, that's like one example of how this energy is playing out is people have a, all of us, we all have our own versions of this is we don't see how our own behavior impacts other people sometimes. Um, and like we can only do our best to try and understand the other perspective, but even sometimes that is not, it's only from our own consciousness. It's only from our own experiences. Like if we come from two completely different cultures and two completely different realities and two completely different experiences of life, they just frankly won't understand, they won't even see each other. So sometimes even when you're trying to understand the other perspective, it still may not be 100% accurate, right? And so I think that that's like a big part of this is slow down, ask questions. In order to find peace and balance and harmony versus war, Aries, 
we need to find a middle ground and that's going to require us to slow down and be like the Sabian symbol said, practical and ask questions and find a pragmatic solution. And we have Mercury that is still in Virgo. So it's still collecting data. It's still moving slow in an earth sign. And there's pieces of information that we're getting. And now that we're like out of shadow moving forward, we're going to have more clarity. It's going to keep unfolding. But being impulsive and acting off of our own impulse without the other side of the story, I don't think that's going to go that great, potentially, you know? So just, you don't want to make um, decisions or, you know, say things or whatever. I've already seen that in myself where it's like, is it your wounding that's talking or is it reality? And like I had a, another situation at a doctor's office where it was like very clear. My doctor basically was like, you have some, you need to heal some stuff. And I was like, you have no idea. <laughs> but yes, you know, like that's a hard reflection after all the healing I've done to still be like, you have more to do forever basically but like you get my point like to have another individual libra other reflect to me like i hear you you're safe cry it out <laughs> but like you might want to heal this or you might want to like you know handle this because it's wounding and my ego wanted to be like you're wounding or whatever <laughs> But at the same time, I had to be like, that's true. Like what, it, what I'm saying is only from my perspective. So we can only go off of the facts because the facts are what we got. The other perspective we can get when we ask questions. The other, the other perspective we can get when we communicate. Libra, air sign, communicate, ask questions, balance it out, harmonize it. Like, Get others involved so you're not stuck in your own reality, just like impulsively taking actions. We all do this. It's not like me pointing fingers at stuff. Like I got, I got my hand sacked by my, you know, medical professional. <laughs> and it was a good reflection for me because I was like, that's true. Like maybe I am just speaking f not from fact only from my perspective. And so that is an important reflection for me to have. I still think that I know, but that doesn't mean that I do. You know what I mean? So yeah, I think that's important. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, we've got Mars squaring off with Pluto as well at the time of this. So it could feel intense. It could feel tense important right we've got the nodes involved it's important and that's all fine but i'll tell you what just uh let it let it unfold you know it could feel intense it could feel like war aries you know i don't want war i want peace and i want anyone who's not peaceful i don't want them near me period and that could come off as doormat energy, right? It could come off like a people pleaser. It could come off as avoidant. No, I want peace in my life. And I think that anyone who is in the Aries energy feeling that more, maybe they have more fire in their chart, so it's more comfortable for them. They may gravitate more towards war or anger or any of that right now. And I'm seeing any of us who like lack fire or don't really like, that's not our natural energies to like fight. Like, I don't want to fight. Anyone who tries to fight, I literally like all of my, my wounding pops up and I'm just like, how can I get away from this situation? Super, super fast because I would prefer to be alone than to fight or argue i'm um you know how they say like um, my dad and i were just talking about this like fight or flight i'm a flight <laughs> like i'm a 
some people like head straight into a conflict and fight. I am a flight, like almost to anyone's detriment. Like if we're out, I was in, I was on a vacation one time with a friend and we got into a situation, we were both in it together. And like, I was a very terrible friend because I was just straight up, like the moment I felt like I was in an unsafe situation, I was gone. And she's the opposite. She was like ready to for whatever came, and I was just like, "We gone." So we had to work through that um, to balance out our friendship because it was just wounding playing out. Right, our natural energies were trying to express themselves in their natural ways, and um, sometimes those can be opposite. So it can create conflict in relationships. So there's a balance there. And in order for us all to work together as a collective and also individually in all of our paths, then we need to like literally find the balance. And I think that's like a big part of this energy, at least, you know, like my example with the individual, the Aries individual, they were ready for a fight. They were defensive. They wanted to defend themselves and how scared I made them. And I'm like, Duh, I already knew all that. But at the same time, did you forget that I also was scared and in fear and deserve love and support? And they did. They literally never thought about that at all, which is so fucking crazy to me, but it's fine. Um, anyway, that's where we're at. This is the energy. You may have epiphanies happening. You may be getting insights. Try and balance it out. Balance yourself out. Um, a good way to leverage this energy is if you're feeling fired up, go work out. Go for a walk. Get the energy moving out of your body however you need to so it's not being projected onto people. Because it can absolutely happen in this energy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. Well, I think that's like about it. Um, be careful out there and take good care of yourselves. And I will be doing the same. And yeah, I wish you guys nothing but the best full moon. There are definitely some people who it's going to be breakthrough, um, beautiful moments too. So like, please don't let the war part of it like freak you out. But um, this is definitely like energy to initiate change, like initiate breakthroughs, right? Um, these are cardinal energies, um, the full moon energies at least. So we'll be taking action. It's action oriented. And I think for anyone who's been feeling stagnant or been feeling lost, um, have the courage to get the information, find your balance, find the harmony, and then take action. And then trust yourself and like be you and remember who you are and have the courage to like stand up for yourself in that way while also being fair, just, and balanced. Okay, cool. Well, that's what I got. Um, I love you guys, and I will see you on the next one. Okay, bye!